View of Interstate 80 near the state route 267 interchange just 30 minutes ago. A lot of snow on the road on your right is Highway 50 near Twin Bridges. Highway 50 is open right now, but you can see the conditions there are slick. Of course, we're continuing to track the impact from snow moving across the region and the community is still left without power tonight. We have uh, team coverage for you tonight. Orco Mana is in Ulta with a look at road conditions on Interstate 80. Lizay Mitri is in Pollock Pines with more on the ski resorts that have had to temporarily closed due to heavy snow. But first, we want to start with meteorologist Dirk Verdorn, who joins us now and how much snowfall this year could see. So what are we looking at as we head into the week? Yeah, we are looking at more snow. I think we've had the greatest amounts of snow early this morning. That's when we had another wave come through that really piled the snow up in some of the ski resorts. And we'll take a look at the numbers there in just a moment. But right now we'll see where we're still getting some decent snow. We have these showers that are being created by the mountains themselves. As we zoom in, you can see we've had some thunderstorm activity popping up near Highway 16 here between Rancho Murrieta and Plymouth. We've been seeing this areas of heavy rain and that's translating into some snow as you make your way up above 2000 feet. Also another active area is around Modesto. We see currently some rain in Modesto. Riverbanks had a lightning strike and we could see some more as that rain makes its way more towards the Sierra translating into some snow where we've seen things kind of break up a bit. Not as much snow around uh, again Sonora, Miwok Village and Arnold. Uh, Avery has been seeing a little bit of snow but it gets a little bit more pronounced as you work your way up Highway 88. Again, from Pine Grove past Pioneer and all the way up as you make your way towards uh, Kirkwood, we have some snow and snow has been falling, of course, along Highway 50 near Echo Summit, but also around Pollock Pines coming down pretty good. You can see the bright white showing up on the Doppler. Also in through Plumas County from Bucks Lake to Quincy, Crescent Mills, all getting some heavier snowfall at the moment. How much have we seen? Well, so far, these are the reports that we've had from this afternoon in Boreal, Sugar Bowl, and Tahoe Don are anywhere from 28 to 38 inches of snowfall. Mount Rose, North Star, these numbers are from this morning between about uh, 6 o'clock and 8 o'clock in the morning. We've had over 20 inches in some spots, so we've had a decent amount of snow, and we are going to see more. We'll talk a little bit more about how much more coming up now. Back over to you. All right, Dirk, thank you so much. To El Dorado County now, where a local emergency has been declared due to those recent snowstorms. The El Dorado County Sheriff's Office posted details about this today on its Facebook page. The post read in part, quote, conditions of extreme peril to the safety of persons and property have risen within the county. The statement also said the proclamation should expire in seven days unless it is confirmed and ratified by El Dorado County government officials. Parts of Interstate 80 remain closed tonight. KCRA 3's Orco Mana is live in Alta right now with a live look at the conditions. Orco, what's going on where you are? Well, right now the conditions aren't too bad. It's a little bit wet on the roadway, but the real issue is further up I-80. You can see here that Caltrans has blocked the interstate here at Alta. Because of those conditions, we're told that it's still snowing up there and that it is still snowy and icy on the roads, causing those slick conditions. Again, that is why Caltrans, you can see, has blocked this area here at Alta. We are told that we are seeing some other vehicles vehicles allowed to get through, but those are only essential people. That includes emergency vehicles and Caltrans crews, Caltrans plows, as well as, again, as I mentioned, first responders and some people who live in the area. But again, everyone else is being turned away. In fact, if we take a look this way, you can see all of the cars that are lined up along I-80 waiting for this closure to end. We're counting at least a, a couple dozen cars, perhaps even more over the bend there. But again, you're taking a live look at all these cars waiting for the closure to end to try to get through. We did speak to one man who is from Reno and he's trying to get home right now. But again, because of the closure, he is stuck in this long line of cars. Right now, Caltrans does not have an estimated time for when I-80 will be open. Again, right now it is closed between here at Alta and the Nevada state line. So stay with us as we continue to get more updates on when this closure might end. Reporting live in Alta tonight, Orca Man at KCRA 3 News. All right, Orco, thank you so much. Again, really for the past week, up I-80, Highway 50. If you can stay home, just stay home, and you're showing us an example of that. Be safe up there, Orco. Thanks. The snow that's been piling up is forcing many Sierra ski resorts to close for the day. Places like North Star, Heavenly and Sugar Bowl said it just wasn't safe with the deep snow and low visibility today. KCRA 3's Lizay Mitri reports on the difficult mountain conditions. It's what ski resorts like to see. A lot of snow. This is a good year. This is one of the epic years. 
and it just keeps coming. Maybe a little too much. You can see we're pretty high up and we're buried. Sierra at Tahoe was one of many mountains closed today. Even the mountain operations crew had a tough time getting here this morning because of the conditions. White, couldn't see, it was complete white out. We couldn't get into parking spots. They had to clear us all just to get started to make sure this place is ready for skiers and snowboarders as soon as possible. People like Sierra Lopes and Isaac Hernandez, who started with some sledding today before the big day tomorrow. We're going to go snowboarding. Yeah, we're going to go snowboarding <laughs> for my birthday on the 6th. For the first time. I'm going to try to go down one of the biggest hills. And so I think I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, so I'm going to need a lot of luck. A lot of luck for him after a lot of work for them. Yeah, the wind, the wind is definitely the biggest challenge. Michael Frazier is senior lead yes. ski patroller at wow. Sierra at Tahoe. This season's been pretty intense, especially since this snow follows a fire that transformed the landscape here. We are dealing with a new ski area um, after all the logging that happened. It's uh, like a whole new mountain. Yeah, we're this is the newest ski area in, in California. And while workers try to get it back open safely, Frazier just asks for patience. We're giving it all we got to, to give our skiing public some good product. Here in Pollock Pines, the snow has been falling throughout the day. You can see the layer on top of this SUV. And just east of here, Sierra Tahoe says for tomorrow they do plan to open, but it will be a delayed opening as those crews try to dig out of more than a foot and a half of snow within about 48 hours. And that's on top of the snow that already came down before that. Here in Pollock Pines, Liz Amitri, KCRA 3 News. And tonight, thousands of homes are still without power across our region. We're going to pull up the PG&E power outage map. So the spots on the map that are in orange shading, that means up to 5,000 customers do not have electricity. You can see Nevada, El Dorado, and Placer counties remain some of the hardest hit areas. It's from Highway 50 all the way north above I-80. All of those foothills and Sierra communities, a lot of them are in the dark. Now, PG&E tells customers they may not get their power restored until Wednesday. You can track our current weather system and those outages always on the go with the KCRE 3 app. Be sure to turn on the alerts to get notifications about when active weather is hitting your neighborhood.